Welcome back to my adventure with CTS Wardrobe and this is going to be video 8. In the past two videos we added some items to wardrobe that already had an image or a texture or picture with them. So in this video I'm going to show you what to do if you don't have a texture that came with it um, or a photo and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take pictures using the pose stand and take our own photo to upload to wardrobe so we are going to upload this outfit which is from bumblebee we're going to do the shirt and the pants because it came in a mega pack together and that is the plan i did remember to attach my head this time before we got started so pretty proud of myself on that but let's go ahead and open inventory and I already have, it's a Bumblebee Gretel outfit. I already have that pulled up. So let's see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need to get a picture of this outfit and save it. So let me minimize that again. And I'm going to res out the pose stand. If we use this little purple woman right here, we should get a pose stand. So I'm going to click on that. And there is my pose stand. And I want to load the female poses into it. And let's see. Now, here's the thing. When I get onto this pose stand, it's going to put that big, huge white background up and it's probably going to get this stuff is going to be in the way so I'm going to right click and edit because I want to move my post stand out a little bit because I know that stuff is going to be in the way so let's move it over here maybe up a little bit and then close my build tool and then I'm going to turn off my AO because otherwise it's going to look funky and then right click on the post stand and hit pose and there it is so now it's going to ask if I want to have the lighting adjusted I don't because I already have a bright wind light on if you need to if you're kind of dark and shady you'll want to hit yes but I'm going to hit no because I already have good lighting the other thing is see how my foot is stuck in the ground down here so I'm going to go to appearance and hover height and I'm going to raise myself up a little bit because I don't want to be stuck. There we go. And this isn't really an ideal pose for this. Um, so let's scroll through a couple because I'd like to get the front of the outfit really well. That looks like... Eh. Eh. Ugh, my hand's stuck in my leg. I don't like that. There's that stupid shoe pose. What is that about? Mm, I don't know about this one, you guys. Mm, I don't really need the shoes. Let's face forward, shall we? It's going to take me 10 minutes to find a pose, y'all. <laughs> I hate that pose. I don't know what that is. Hey, that one's pretty good. We'll go with this. So, I just want to get outfit in here so then we're going to go to our photo tools which is here I've got them over here on Firestorm and let me move this over and if I hit this arrow it's going to give me a bigger picture see how there's so much white up there so I'm going to adjust this move the camera or move my camera down then I'm going to hit refresh that one's a little bit better. Maybe we'll zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hit control zero one time and that'll zoom in. Hit refresh. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can tell what it is. Now you want to make sure, see, I don't want to save this to my inventory. I want to save it to disk. So I'm going to go to selection and save it to disk. I'm going to save it to my hard drive. So always make sure you're saving it to the disk instead of saving it to your inventory because every time you save an image to your inventory it charges um, 10 linden to do that 
on this, you want to make sure that this box, constrained proportions, make sure it's unchecked. And then you want to do a square image, which I'm going to do 512 by 512 because that's pretty standard. And we don't need this to be high resolution. Um, hit enter. And then it crops it down. But wardrobe is going to use a square image anyway. So we're going to do 512 by 512, PNG, and then I want to save as. We'll do save as because I want to make sure I can name it. Okay, I don't know why it says that. <laughs> All right, ready? What is this? This is Gretel. Um... Uh, this is oh bumblebee bumblebee gretel top and pants we'll just save it that way okay save and it has been saved to my computer all right so now we have the image, so I am going to close that back in, I'm going to close that off, and zoom back out, and actually I'll go ahead and hit stand because we just needed the one picture. So then I stand, and turn my AO back on because I look funky with that little chicken stand. Turn around, Jazz. Turn around, Jazz. Oops. Just kidding. Y'all see my platform with all my junk? It's not junk. It's where I test everything out. <laughs> Decide what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Good, right? <laughs> and it's got my puppies on it. All right. Then I'm going to take... Oh, too far. I'm going to take this stand... And I'm going to delete the stand. I don't need it anymore. Not for this video. All right. So now let's move on and get our inventory part set up because I have a picture. All right. So what are we going to do? Oops. I'm just turning all kinds of ways. Uh. All right, so this is the outfit, and I need to make a folder for it in my RLV so that wardrobe can talk to my RLV folder. And it's going to go in clothing, and I have pink cream pie and Tetra. So this is the creator's bumblebee, so I need to right-click on clothing. Make a new folder, and this is going to be Bumblebee. Bumblebee is my favorite transformer, y'all. He's the bomb.com. I love him because he speaks in music. And if you've never seen Transformers, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you have, you're my people. Just saying. Okay, so there is my Bumblebee folder, and I am going to take this outfit folder the Gretel outfit folder and we're going to drag it into the bumblebee folder then I'm going to open that up and close this one don't need it anymore all right so now we need to rename this where's my rename rename we're going to call it the Gretel outfit because that's what it is and we know it's bumblebee because it's in the bumblebee folder I don't need the landmark, so I'm going to delete that. And then I've got on the combat shirt and the suede pants. And then here's the HUD for the shirt and the HUD for the pants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder for HUDs. And I'm going to put both the HUDs in there because I'm going to wear these together. And that way... I can put both HUDs on at the same time if I use this folder. And then I need one for a new folder for the shirt. I'm 
I'm going to drag my shirt in here. And then I need a new folder for the pants. And I'm going to drag that in here. So now my Gretel outfit is all put together. There's the two heads. There's the pants. There's the shirt. So it's in my RLV folder ready to go. And I called it Gretel outfit. So let me, I'm going to copy that to make sure that I get the exact name. All right. So now we are ready. Yep. We are ready to go to wardrobe and actually get it uploaded. Da, 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 da. I know you're excited because I sure am. Ready? All right. Here is my wardrobe. So we start by importing the picture. Add items. Oh, they changed that. Remember? Wow, they already made a change. Because it used to say it gave you all of those options, but now it just says import snapshots or add items. All right. So let me get, okay. So there is my image of the Gretel top. I'm going to drag it here. It's going to put it there. And this title has to match my folder. So I'm going to paste in, paste, Gretel outfit. Okay, tags. So we need the creator, which is Bumblebee. And then this has got um, pants and there's suede. And this has um, top. And the top is, we're going to say, long sleeved. Long sleeve top. Yeah, that should work, right? Long sleeve top. Anything else? Oh, the colors. So we've got, well, it's got a HUD that changes all the colors, I believe. Let me look at the HUD real quick. Yeah, I think the HUD changes. The HUD changes all kinds of stuff. Let me see the combat shirt. I don't know where the HUD's going to pop up. They always pop up in different places. Oh, yeah. Look at all those colors. So, yeah, we're not even going to worry about that. Okay, color we don't have to worry about. We're going to leave it at that. We'll leave everything set this way, same way. And then I'm going to click Submit. And it's going to do something. Hello? No image selected. What? Oh, my gosh. It erased my image and my... Wait a minute. Did it show up? Oh, it's in there. Close. All right. It's in there. So I guess that's what happens if you hit submit twice. It's like you already did that. You don't have a new image. So let me check. I'm going to show the where dialog so I can make sure all my folders are there. And there they are. Main folder, hoods, pants, and shirt. So it's all in there. So I know that's good. And that's it. It's uploaded. I just did that mega pack. That's awesome. So now we have five items, but now I'm going to shut this video down because <laughs> it took me longer because I explained everything. So that is how you do it if you have to use the post in and take your own image of an outfit. Anyway, so hopefully that was helpful. And I think that gets a pretty good getting started overview of the whole thing. You can use a texture like we did on these, or you can use your own photo like we did for this. All right, so I'm going to start uploading a bunch of stuff. And as I learn new things, I'll add new videos in my adventures with CTS Wardrobe so y'all can learn along with me. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you have questions or just want to make a comment, make a comment because I will come in and check them and talk back to you. All right. Peace out, Girl Scout. See you in the next video.